hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Holy see the son of Nube is my name and uh, I thought I would need to respond to a number of Zimbabweans, especially those in the SAT region, most uh, specifically those that are based in South Africa who want to know more about the protests that are being held and organized across the sub-region of the Southern African Development Community. They want to know where the protests are right now, where the next ones are going to be held. They also want to know who is organizing these protests. They want to know how they can partake in this. Uh, there are also others who have been asking if I am one of those people that are organizing these protests. There are others also who have been asking me uh, on the nitty gritties of the protests. So the first and foremost uh, question that I want to ask to answer is, am I one of the organizers of the protest? No, I am not. I'm just a journalist who is furnishing you with information after I've been approached by those that are organizing those protests. And uh, as a journalist, you would know many of those that know me, you would know that I've never partaken or I never partook uh, in any uh, political organizing or protesting because I am just here to give you information as and when I get it. Some of you have been asking and then we make inquiries and then we provide that information to you. Uh, so be rest assured that I'm not part of those that are organizing these protests. So don't expect uh, answers on the call because I may not have certain answers that you may uh, for certain questions that you might be asking and I will need to ask uh, those that are organizing the protest, then I can come back and then inform you. So what is happening here is there are protests that are going that are going to be held, presumably, here in South Africa, or there is an itinerary of some protests that are going to be held here in South Africa uh, at the South African consulate, at the Zimbabwean consulate in South Africa, and these are being organized by a group called the Progressive Zimbabwe Forum, and we are expecting the members of that forum or the organizers of that protest or the leaders of that particular forum to grace our studios and explain more. But there is also another organization you would know about those that went to Zambia last week. So there is an organization called the Sad Citizens Democratic Society uh, who are also organizing these protests. I don't know if they work hand in hand or they are organizing different protests because what I've realized so far especially in this particular protest is that there is no form of unified movement people are coming up in their different small groups organizing protests and some of these protests are happening in different venues and at different times you would know that last of last week i was talking about the zimbabwe intercessors movement that is being led by bishop kevin yamakanga uh, which went to botswana and was part of the group that went to Zambia where they were with uh, different other organizations including the Sad Citizens Democratic Society. So now uh, the bishop, you would know that he was called in for questioning uh, according to what he stated in his statement and at the end of the day he decided to take a back step. I don't know if he went to, to Zambia uh, or if he will be coming to South Africa or if he, they are going to be holding the protest in Zimbabwe because what we know is that despite the repression that is there, despite the security warning that has been there, there are protests that are still being organized for the such summit in Zimbabwe. But now, uh, in August, here in South Africa, the, there is a, a protest that has been organized or that is being organized. We don't know yet the dates of that particular protest, but as I have said, it's being organized by the Progressive Zimbabwe Forum. So what uh, are the main issues that these protesters are raising? Uh, I will talk to the issue being raised by the Sad Citizens Democratic Society. Uh, they are saying that they have petitioned the South African and uh, the Southern African Development Community to not hand over the, chair, the chairmanship of the body to President Emerson Nangakwa because they say that his integrity uh, has been questioned 
uh, since the last election, you know that they say the elections were rigged by the ZEC and the ZANU PF in favor of President M. Nangakwa and his party. So they, they are the ones, part of the people that had organized the protest for Zambia. So they say they are wondering why the SAD wants to hand over the chairmanship of the sub regional body to President M. Nangakwa. Yet the SAD electoral observation mission indicated that the election was not free and fair. They say that unless and until there's been fresh elections in Zimbabwe, there's no way that Zimbabwe can be expected to chair the sub-regional body. So they say that if SAD allows uh, President Nangakwa to be the next chairperson, that will be going against the SAD SEOM uh, report, which they say is very clear that the elections in Zimbabwe are not free and fair because they did not meet the standard guidelines of the SAD. So they say in that context, uh, they see a clear contradiction and they are saying that uh, as Zimbabwean citizens, the current Zimbabwean president, it is illegitimate because of the report by the SEOM. Uh, they say that the report was clear, uh, that it was not written by Zimbabweans as citizens, but it was written uh, by the observation mission, which constituted many technocrats, many professionals from across the board and entrusted body. And the outcome of that report is authentic according to them. So they say the interest of them as Zimbabweans or their interest as Zimbabwean is to champion democracy within the region, not only in Zimbabwe. Hence their decision to petition the ministerial committee or can that uh, the issue be considered before the summit scheduled for next month. So uh, trust is saying that is trust the director of this uh, organization is saying that putting Nangakwa as the next chair of the SAD is putting the life of Zimbabweans at risk. Not only uh, Zimbabwe but the region altogether. And they say that because you are not going to give a mandate to somebody whom you have accused of being a thief and then you take them into being in charge or to chair the SAD sub-regional uh, organization. We feel he has rigged SAD protocols to put himself there but we pray that there are still level-headed minds and in the sober minds of the SAD whom we trust so much and pray that they will use wisdom to hold the process of ending over. That is what is quoted here as saying. So they, 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 their proposal is that Angolan President uh, Joao Lorenzo should hold on to the, chairs, the chairmanship until the SAD report or the SIOM report is dealt with. So this is what these guys are saying, that they don't want a President Mnangakwa to be the next chairperson of the SAD sub-regional, uh, of the SAD, uh, so this is what they are saying, that they don't want President Emerson Mnangakwa to take over as the chair of the SAD, because according to them, he is illegitimate, he rigged ele elections, and they want fresh elections to be held in Zimbabwe before anything can be entrusted on the government of Zimbabwe. They are also complaining about political repression that is in the country. They are complaining about especially the alleged abduction of pro-opposition uh, uh, activists, pro-democracy activists. They are complaining about the lack of freedom. Any form of freedom, they say, is being curtailed by the government of President Emerson Nangakwa. They are also saying that they need to have some form of reforms, especially in the security sector, because you know that just recently the commander of the Zimbabwe National Army came out, or we don't know which, I mean, when the video was taken, but it, it surfaced recently where General Sanyati, Lieutenant General Sanyati was saying that ZANU PF will continue to rule until whenever. So they are saying that this on its own is showing that the military has got a vested interest uh, in the Zimbabwean politics and it is actually the one that is uh, keeping ZANU PF in power. They say that Zimbabwe is no longer a democracy or is not a democracy under ZANU PF because the military has taken over and is now a deep state where no civilian uh, freedom can be expected unless and until they are members of the cabal that is in ZANU PF. So this is some, these are some of the reasons why uh, they want to hold the protest. 
there are some, of course, the Zimbabwe Intercessors Movement has got three demands that is making that the first one be uh, a dialogue between President Emerson Nangakwa and the former Triple C leader, that is Nelson Chamisa, who came second in the elections that were held on the 23rd and 24th of August last year. Uh, failure to that, they are calling for a national transitional authority, which means that there has to be a collapse, total collapse of the Zimbabwean government as we know it right now and then come up with uh, and then set aside the constitution to come up with a national transitional authority because you cannot come up with a national transitional authority without first having to collapse the current government and come up with uh, and set aside the constitution then their third uh, preferred uh, outcome is that if the first two fail then Zimbabwe must be forced into fresh elections, which is what, again, the pro triple C members, pro Chamisa uh, activists are also calling for. They are saying that there must be fresh elections uh, supervised or scaffolded by the SATIC or the African Union. So these are some of the reasons why these people are holding demonstrations or organizing demonstrations. Uh, and I have, as I have said, I do have my reservations uh, around the, the, the demonstrations, but I am just here to give you the information, not to judge anyone, but this is where we are. So we are yet to hear the exact dates and other nitty-gritties of the protests that are going to be held or the demonstrations that are going to be held or the peaceful marches, whatever they are called, that are going to be held here in South Africa. And then we'll give you that kind of information and also those that are going to be held in different countries around the South and including in Zimbabwe where we hear that there are some people that are organizing these demonstrations uh, to try and appeal to the South and make, make it realize that the situation in Zimbabwe is not conducive for the country to take over as the next such chair. But for now, this is what we have. We're going to have, of course, interviews with a number of leaders of these organizations that are organizing these protests about their intended outcomes. But for now, this is where we leave it. We are going to hold some live broadcast as well to indicate, I mean, to, to talk to you and have conversations around these issues as to are they the best to resolve the Zimbabwean situation if we rush into fresh elections now are we not going to see the exact outcome of what we saw in 2023 where the outcome will be contested rightly or wrongly but it's going to be contested because there have been no security sector reforms there have been no electoral law reforms there has been a number of things that have not changed from 2023 august up to now so at the end of the day are we not doing the same things and expecting different results so we will have a discussion with you later today but for now, this is where we leave it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share. But also press the notification button so that when we go live or when, post, or when, we, or when we post something new, you get a notification and you become part of it. Thank you very much. For now, you can be using the comment section underneath this video to raise your concerns, to give us your ideas, or if you want us to interview you, then we can contact you. Then we can have that discussion. But... If you are maybe outside South Africa or within South Africa and you want to contact us for an interview, just uh, WhatsApp me on plus two seven seven three nine six two three zero seven five, and we're going to interview you. Thank you very much.